Hola gang, and welcome again to Old Nerd Gamer. We're back again inside American Truck Simulator. A couple new things. They just released the Kenworth W900. Now, I, I'm not a truck aficionado, and I don't know anything about them, but I've seen pictures of this thing, and if there was a monster, tr not a monster truck, if there was a muscle car that was a truck, the W900 would be it. It is so fabulous, so amazing looking. Um, and, and it's got me considering, do I actually want a Peterbilt or do I want a W900? I'm totally up in the air about that now. Um, also, today SRS released a police rebalancer uh, DLC that uh, cuts back on the amount of police patrolling the city, from what I understand, and it also lowers the fines, makes them more realistic. So I went ahead and disabled the third-party mods that I had that kind of did the same thing, because if, if you can get the new stuff, you really want the, the, the stuff from the game company itself, because you never know if a third-party mod is going to break something else. I, I feel a lot more secure with SRS's release. So anyway, disabled those two and SRS's is, is in there. And also another thing is uh, another thing that that particular DLC did. If you go into your gameplay settings, you'll notice that traffic offenses is a new option in there and you can turn it on and off. Of course, we're going to keep it on because to turn it off is totally unrealistic. Um, you know, I, I guess depends on where it is. If you're out in the desert, you're probably going to not see a lot of cops patrolling, but we're going to leave it on. Okay, so there is a method to our madness tonight. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to discover, well, we are going to discover the one of the Peterbilt, um, uh, da, 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 what am I trying to say? Peterbilt truck uh, dealers which I found out is right over here in Reno. This is the Kenworth, uh, as you can see right here. This is a Peterbilt, and I know there's another Peterbilt, at least one down here again, but we're going to stay around this area. So we're gonna go ahead and try and find a load and uh, reroute if we have to, to make sure that we discover that Peterbilt dealership. So let's go into the job market, take a quick job, we're still uh, level five patrolling uh, or trying to get to level six. And uh, that is when we're going to buy our truck. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and just click on Reno and see what we have as an option. Um, now there is a reservoir tank from Reno to Stockton. And I believe the Peterbilt dealership is around this area somehow so we may not have to reroute very far uh, this of course being fragiles would give us more experience points but like I said we have an agenda and that is to uh, discover that dealership so let's go ahead and go in Saturday 223 p.m. and we're just outside a city it looks like a construction zone uh, let's see what we got on the back uh, that's a pretty good length. I usually don't like trucks that long, but you know what? I need to learn to do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into our map real quick and find out where that dealership is. Um, and it is right there. So we're starting out here. We're needing to get there. So what we'll do is we'll just route uh, down here. There we go, simple as that. So our uh, GPS will go ahead and reroute us and we are on our way. Let's get going, drive. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on our vehicle and we'll turn on our lights, both of them, running lights and uh, headlights, just to play it safe even though it's, uh, well, it is, it should be getting dark. I mean, it's almost eight o'clock, seriously? Okay, so where's our exit here? Right there. So we just need to kind of go out and around. Uh, we've got that 
big thing right in our way. You guys over there working? See you guys. Have a good one. Talk at you later. Okay, going to come out here and take a right. Got nobody coming. And it looks like we're going to take another right as soon as we get out here. So we'll just keep this puppy on. We'll stop at the red light and we'll go. What are you doing, dude? You turn right in front of a truck here, especially with the with the um, vehicle you're driving. Seriously? You're not making much sense, man. Not making much sense. Okay, just taking it straight. What do we got? Uh, 20, 30 miles an hour. That's, uh, we're doing 24. We're fine. Okay, so we have the all the the new billboards and trucks, trailers, cars, mods installed from Jazzy Cat and some of the other stuff, the lengthened yellow light, uh, the new truck horn of course. There it is. Sorry about jerking it around. It's on my it's bound to my mouse five button there. So yeah, you can see a McDonald's sign up there on that uh, wall. Oh, no, 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 no. We want to turn, and there's your yellow. So we'll just play it safe. Play it safe. Oh, I think we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and go since those trucks are turning left. Watch our trailer. What we're pulling behind us. There's vehicles lined up. Watch for new cars. See what kind of cars you see. See what kind of trailers you see with uh, branding on them now and the signs. So that's your assignment. Watch all that stuff. And it's 30. So we definitely want to keep it under 30 miles an hour. So we get no tickets. Don't want no stinking tickets. Okay, there is... I think I see it coming up. I definitely see a repair shop. Yep, it's up there on our right. Lovely day here in Nevada. Clear sky, no clouds. See, I want to see those signs, the, the branding on the buildings. That is the next thing I want to see. Oh, I also installed a mod today that does change the um, the uh, the the fox. Is it foul fox? F A U X. How do you pronounce that? Uh, UPS and FedEx trucks to the the correct brand. I can't remember what they're originally called. Some some weird thing that S S R S put in there. But now they actually say FedEx and UPS. UDS, I think it was, and I'm not sure if the... Oh, another light? Jeez. Uh, Saturday night, everybody's going to the club, I guess. Going out clubbing in this small little Mayberry town. I wonder what the population of this town is. Oh, well, I mean, we're in Reno, so it is fairly big. Um, but still, I'd like to know. Why? Because inquiring minds always want to know. Okay. That billboard looks like it's off. That, or whatever it is, it just has a black outline, black silhouette on it, no writing. So obviously, that's not working correctly. And there it is on our right hand side, ladies and gentlemen, the Peterbilt dealership. Let's go ahead and hit that and we'll circle around. I think it should pick it up just as we pass it. There it is! We discovered it! 
we discovered the Peter built. Now we get to see what kind of vehicles I can get there and see if my skin works too. I actually created a old nerd reviews um, decal. At least that's what I'm thinking I did. Uh, very new and just experimental to see if it works. And that's, that's gonna be a very cool thing. Oh geez, oh we wanna go straight? Oh okay, we wanna go straight? Glad I didn't start turning. Somebody would have came up beside me and probably hit me. So this is the. Do we want to go straight through here too? We do, don't we? Okay, please don't hit me. I mean, I'm sure we probably could have taken that unless it was a dead end or branched off. But we'll just go ahead and play it safe with uh, the old GPS. Um, I actually have a GPS in the car because I can't find my way out of a paper bag and I call the GPS Carmen after Carmen San Diego. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? So that's my GPS's name. Yes, I know I'm weird. Let's go ahead and signal. Looks like we're going to take a left. Um, not here, but at the next light. So we make it this pretty big intersection. Uh, I think we're fine on, oh yeah, we're fine on gas, I'm sure. So, where are we going to go up here? I'm really unfamiliar with this area. No, not here, next one. Next one, next one. I should change that, the, the look of that. I'm not liking it very much. It's hard to tell exactly. Oops. This is where we want to turn. Correcto Mundo. Yeah. And I think we could turn left up there too. There's one of our branded gas station. I, I, I think that's the, the BP. And it was BP, I believe. Ah! What the heck? Why am I going? What the heck? That was weird. Why did I go backwards? That was freaky weird. Okay, and we've got a truck sitting right there. That's an obnoxious light at this corner. Seriously? Toys R Us, there's a branded truck. Jeffrey the uh, giraffe. Okay, I'm taking it. Please be kind to me. And we really need to be over in this other lane. These brakes. Did I hit something? What am I doing? Why aren't I going? Am I going up over a curb? I was. Wow. That's why this thing must be really heavy because I'm going, uh oh, did I accidentally put my parking brake on? But then I hit my space bar and nope. Okay, everybody needs to turn and get out of my way. And we're actually getting on the freeway here. Freeway driving, get your something rolling. Head out on the highway, looking for adventure. Back off, dude. Oops. Why are you slowing down, Mr. Man? Don't be slowing down. Uh, why is my signal still on? Holy moly, Gargonzoli. Get with it, Thomas. Okay, we've got an 80 mile an hour speed limit here. Since I'm not real familiar with the area, I'm gonna pace myself. There's a casino right there. 
casino, blackjack. There's a golf station. Like I said, is, is golf really around anymore? It, I don't think it is up in my area where I live. I don't remember the last time I saw a golf station. Maybe it's like Midwest or Eastern now only. Used to see them when I was young, but not anymore. Okay, we've got uh, about four minutes left. Four hours in ATS time. Ah, oh, way station. Boogers. Okay, fine. Be that way. Gotta go get Wade. Da, 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 da. Thank you for cooperation. I wonder if you ever do not pass. That would make it more realistic if you, if there were times where you did not pass. I don't know how they'd work that, but still. Oh, come on. You guys need to let me in here. And that's just the way it works. Man, it's 9.50 p.m. and it's still daylight? That is weird. What's up with that? It should be dark by now. That's a little bizarre, I think. And I've never experienced that before. I've never experienced where it's light at almost 10 o'clock. Not even at 9, I don't think. Oh, well. Maybe the sun just shines all the time over here in this area of Nevada. I don't know. Sacramento. Sacramento. I can read that trailer, see if it was a brand. I want to I want to see a UPS or a FedEx truck to see if that uh, mod is working correctly. Ooh, look at the clouds. Are we getting some rain? I don't know, it suddenly got kind of gloomy looking. Still got some sun peeking out, but still kind of dark clouds. Oh, we're just driving along, singing a song, side by side. I so want my my racing wheel soon hopefully that would be nice but they're not cheap they are not cheap uh, okay what do we got coming up here do we got a our exit I don't know no it looks like we're still going straight okay Let's go ahead and kind of get it moving along here a little bit better. Sun peeking through those clouds as it's starting to set. Red sky, it looks like. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. Means it's going to be a nice day tomorrow. Red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. That's something my dad taught me. You ever heard that? Got a red sky in the morning, that means it's gonna rain. And it's true. I have never seen it to be anything but. But no rain right now. It just kind of looked like it at first, didn't it? Wow, I'm getting low on gas. I've got like less than a quarter tank, it looks like. I'm still gonna make it, but I think, hopefully. What am I driving here? Looks like, oh, a Kenworth. Okay, so I don't have any digital display. Bomber days, like my digital speedometer. That's, it's 55 through here. I guess I better slow it down a little bit. Didn't know, notice my speed, just kind of cruising along. 
just not paying attention. See? Almost got in that other guy's lane. Jeez. You can go you can get going really fast and not even realize it in this thing. Okay, it looks like we've got a loop up here. So we're gonna take that exit right where that other truck. Right where both those other trucks did. And loop ourselves around. There's a cop right there. I think that's the first cop I've seen, so that uh, DLC must be working. Nice. Ugh. I hate this windy stuff. Playing with the keyboard is kind of hard. First I thought that was a cow. That was goofy. Okay. We are almost there. Ah, oh, now it's getting dark. About time. Holy moly gargonzoli. Oh, what am I looking at? I, I was looking at the ETA. It's only 823. It's not like almost 10. But uh, So, okay, that makes sense. Because like I said, usually around 9 o'clock is when it starts getting dark. So, okay, never mind. Hello, Mr. Cop. Am I going? Yeah, I'm going to speed limit. Good. Sacramento, half a mile. Welcome to Sacramento. Well, thank you. I appreciate the uh, consideration and the the uh, hospitality. And I don't think I'm going to. Oh no. That was kind of academic. Got over and then signaled. So what do we got going here? 55 still. Okay. Wow, my gas is getting so low. Gas is getting so low, but we should be here anytime. We should be able to drop this puppy off anytime. You're running out of fuel. Holy moly. Am I going to make it? I should, please. What happens? I, I see my flag. Oh man, we're in the red. We are so in trouble. I should have stopped. I should have stopped. Cross your fingers, guys. Cross your fingers. That we either see a station right here, or I'm interested to see what happens, kind of. Kind of curious. I mean, do you have to get a gas can and walk it? Or what happens? Okay, there's our exit right there. So let's go ahead and don't want to go too fast. And take it right. Wow. Ooh! That was a sudden stop. And we're fine. It's 35. Are we going to make it? That is the question. Is that our drop off point? I mean, I see it on the map. This is going to be interesting. And we're going to make it. We're going to make it. Here we are. Oh my goodness. And we didn't have to stop for gas, but I am shocked that it even got that far. Okay. So let's go ahead and go for our usual 15 experience points and it's right there. That shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, no, I don't want to skip parking. That's what I just told you. Don't mess with me, mister. There we go. Excelente! Wait, where is our parking bonus? Did I miss it? Did I actually miss it? Ah, I don't know. Okay, anyway, we made it safely. We uh, fulfilled our obligation for this evening of finding that Peterbilt dealership. We're making our way up to six. 
even though it's very slow and that is it guys so now when we go to the dealers map there it is Peterbilt is on the map very nice okay I'm gonna let you go guys next time I will will take a trip to the dealership and see if my uh, my skin is actually working my old nerd review speaking of which if you have not subscribed and uh, in come over and enjoyed my channel with me you guys are the ones who make it successful I would love to have you over at old nerd reviews and uh, I will see you next time bye now